What's up, folks? Can you see me? <laughs> this is it. This is the walkthrough for sickness. And this is the absolute first time I'm going out on the boat. No joke. Just got off the phone with Garmin Guru. We talked about it. He even can't believe that I haven't been out on the boat. This is it. First time I've had about, I don't know, I've got a good three plus hours now to, uh, to be able to play with this boat and find out and figure out the things that, I don't know, what makes sense and perhaps what doesn't make sense. We're gonna get this thing loaded in the water. We're gonna take it for the first cruise. You're gonna hear the engine fire up for the very first time on this boat. And uh, exciting day, I'm not gonna lie, very excited. And uh, thanks for watching. Gonna be a great day on the water. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. This is going to be a cool episode. A really cool episode, I promise you. We're taking the bass cat for its first official spin and we're going to fish at it. Let's get greedy, right? Um, this is going to be the walkthrough of the new sickness. I won't say the new sickness, sickness. Just just say sickness because I've never had a boat named sickness and that's the name of this bad boy. Check it out, folks. We're gonna get out there in all of its glory. We're gonna have a fun time. It's a lot of boat. It's a lot of boat. I'm nervous. Say goodbye to this girl right here. Beautiful boat. This boat has been sold, folks. That took all of about four days to sell this boat. I'd say the market's pretty hot. Plus, the guy that's buying this is a cool dude, and I know him. And this boat is already spoken for. And uh, we're gonna steal some stuff out of it, put it in the bass cap, take it for a spin. I might have questions for you on the bass cap because this is the first time I've ever driven a boat with a jack plate. Certainly the first boat I've ever had with a 300. But uh, we're gonna take it for a spin, do a little crappie fishing, spend a couple hours on the water and learn about this boat. But while I do that, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough. I'm no expert at a bass cap. This is the first time I've ever owned one, but uh, why not? I'm going to give you the walkthrough, show you what I like about it. And uh, first things first, let's get this boat, uh, let's get some stuff out of this boat. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm excited to show you sickness. <laughs> this is wild. Listen to it purr. It is, it is stout. It has got a growl. Very interesting. I'm gonna start my jack plate up about on a setting of one. It comes in settings of one through six, so I'm gonna start it at one. And uh, obviously have my trim all the way down. And we're gonna go from there and see how the whole shot is. So first time just jamming on it and having a great day. We got bluebird day. We got no boats on the water because it's a weekday and it is pretty much calm, pretty much calm. So I have a lot to learn on this boat. No joke about it. But Jack Platt was weird is when I got up to about, the boat started doing one of these numbers, right? Which made me very nervous. So that's why I backed it off and I, you know, I slowed it back down. So help me out with that real quick. That wobbling all of a sudden it went like this. I don't know if that means I should be jacking the jack plate up further or keeping it lower or where is that, you know, how do you stop that from occurring is a question I would have. But let's do a walkthrough real quick, shall we? Let's have fun with this. A lot of people 
oops, sorry about that. A lot of people have been asking about the walkthrough. And we're gonna mix this episode in with a lot of the Grenada episodes, of course. Because bottom line is we had some awesome time at Grenada and there are some killer episodes coming. So here's the setup up front real quick. We've kind of been through it, but I wanted to show it to you again. You know, there was concern about um, me having to uh, put this down with the monitor down. So there it is down. All I then would have to do here. And then all I do is simply bring this up and we're fishing. No big deal. Actually thought that was a lot less trouble than I thought it would be. So all my monitors are on. This is a big, beautiful picture. I did update my Garmin. Um, the update, the feedback I'm getting from the update, just for those that care about the update, is then it's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those. I, again, I always stick with the, this, the theory that if you like what you have, don't update. Why would you? You like what you have. So, all right, here's what we got. Wide, expansive deck right here with the Bass Cat. I absolutely love it. I've got my stomp pedals here for my power poles. Obviously the Solex 10, Garmin 126 SV for my second live scope system, and the Great 16 right there, the 8616, okay? Um, you know, storage on this boat is outstanding. It's huge. This rod locker is massive. Doesn't get much better than that. I mean, that's just an enormous amount of space. I mean, I don't, I don't, I would never have enough rods to fill that up. Although I probably will. I'm sure of it. Side locker. Your day, your day storage is right over here. So basically, you're gonna get your your rods out. You're gonna work on them. And your day, the day locker is right here. Right there's your day locker. Right there. Construction looks incredible. Um, it definitely sits above the water more than my other boat, but yet you feel like you're sitting below the water line. So there's a big jump down into the, the, the area right there that you would be riding in the boat. So you do feel enclosed with the boat, even though I really feel like I'm above the water way higher than I was with my low. Everything seems to be quality. I love the light switches. These light switches are all individually operated. It's got a nice floodlight in the front. Maybe it's called a spotlight, I'll call it a floodlight. Expansive deck, expansive deck. You know, one of the things people are gonna talk about is like the live wells, the different shapes of the live wells. All I can tell you, um, it didn't doesn't bother me, the shape of the live wells, but it's unique from the standpoint they're massive live wells. Massive gas tanks, I believe they're 32 gallon a piece, and you have two of them. So that was a fortune to, uh, to fill up you do get the design the entire boat to your specs absolutely everything which is probably a problem because there's so many choices it drives you nuts and so everything you see here was what i put together on a computer and you're always wondering is it going to be the same thing well i think it really did show up very much like i had thought it would be what i thought it would be um the console top of the line top notch love it um Got my radio system here. And uh, obviously then your power pull up and down here. Little center console here, which is pretty sweet. Again, a lot of cup holders, um, a lot more cup holders than I ever had in my low. I mean, they're everywhere, which is really nice and accommodating. Got a USB port, place for your phone. Obviously the, the hot foot is very unique to me. The instrument panel looks very clean. Um, I mean, listen to this motor. Bam. Went and got this guy here. I guess it make, shows you all the stats on the motor as it's running. Shows you your speed, etc. Which, of course, you can get the same data actually on your Solux, I believe, as well. All these functions. I still have so much. To, I mean, I have so much to learn. It's ridiculous, folks. I've had... I've had helixes since they came out i mean literally when they came out i got my first helix which was a helix 5 and now i've got these solixes which are they're not they're not exactly the same so i have a lot to learn there's no doubt about it but let's go to the bench let's go back to the back part let's turn that engine off again so a lot of people have asked me about the lithium batteries um about the power plant what we're using in here um i 
really like lithium batteries. I believe in lithium batteries. Amped Outdoors has definitely helped me out with that. They've made it easy. So I appreciate those guys for that, for sure. But here's a look at them right here. We've got 250, 36 volt, amped out 100 or 50 amped outdoor batteries, but they're 36 volts, so you only need two of them. Because of that, you are required to have a charger, which is right there. I have a 100 amp hour amped out battery for my electronics, and then I have that pro guide right there, okay, for the big boy. And that's it. Power poles, they're in there too. Um, without a doubt, the cleanest power plant area that I've ever seen. Here's a look at the, the, the cell phone holder right there. Hot foot, instrument panel, extremely wide boat. And yes, you guide trips are gonna get to ride in this bad boy. Definitely gonna have some different rules in terms of how our feet get in here. At least until I get the first dirt screw up and then I'll I'm sure I'll relax about it anyway that's the that's kind of the walkthrough on the links everything looks extremely high quality which is a big deal for me I want it to be stout I want it to last for a very long time and I really do feel that it is extremely well built so Let's do this. Let's catch our first fish out of sickness. And of course, this this nice, beautiful carpet's gonna have a bunch of decals on it, but eventually I have them all. And uh, I'm looking forward to putting those on there. But at the same time, enjoy it while it's uh, it's fairly uh, raw and it doesn't have any of all the, all the stuff on it because I, I certainly am. Anyway, that's cool. Let's catch a fish. I have to see what's going on at this hour of the day because I have a guide trip tomorrow and we're doing an afternoon trip. And so that is an option for you guys that wanna do guide trips. It doesn't always have to be the morning, it can be the afternoon, and tomorrow's an afternoon one. And actually I have another one on Thursday that's gonna be an afternoon trip. So let's catch some fish, let's see if what these fish are doing in the afternoon. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm kind of excited. I didn't turn the dang camera on, but I got my first fish. Here it is, the first official crappie coming on sickness right now. Not the biggest crappie, but by golly, that is the first fish on sickness. Take a record, folks. That's exciting stuff. I have to admit, uh, I have to change the location of the monitor because I'm so used to where it was. So I'm definitely gonna make a tweak there. It needs to be um, perhaps a little closer to me so that I don't have to reach, so I don't have to reach for it. Um, that sounds like a, a, a small task, but I know it's gonna be you know, a custom piece that's going to move it in closer to me. And uh, I'm sure Mark will be able to accommodate that. It, it's just a, you know, you don't wanna have to keep, continue to bend over every time you make a tweak to the uh, distance, which of course you do throughout the entire thing. All right, so it's not that bad. I actually don't mind putting my monitor up. Doesn't take for two seconds, not bad. The only thing I think I'm gonna switch is by bringing it forward about four inches, I think is would be perfect. Um, it might actually slide past the Ultrax. If it doesn't slide past the Ultrax, I would offset it about one more inch. But looking at it, when you, if you were to move it forward enough, it might slide past it. Um, but offsetting it one inch wouldn't be such a big deal. All right, guys, we're going to call it short episode, just a walkthrough through the boat. I want to thank SNS Marine. Check them out in Clarksville, Indiana. Basco, Bascad, um, great company, and. I've got some tweaks to do on the boat. I expected that, um, without a doubt. Um, something's going on with the Solix is where they're blinking a blue color, which means tells me there's a short somewhere with that. But um, also adjusting the live scope right there. Getting used to the speed of the boat is probably going to be the most important thing for me uh, in regards to even in regards to even trolling. Um, trolling it is 
you, you, you're definitely pulling a lot more weight. So you have to be patient with that. I was so used to just zip, 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 zip around. So, which is probably a good thing because it's going to slow me down. And one of my biggest faults when I am live scoping is that I'm, I'm going too fast, which is a problem for a lot of people. Um, it's a heavy boat. It's a big boat. I noticed that. It certainly goes fast, uh, super fast. And um, I don't know, a lot of things to adjust and get used to. And I expected that. So um, what else can I tell you? I'm wearing the Honey Hole shirt today because um, they now put uh, sniping braid in their shop. And I'm hoping three pound fishing jigs will go there as well. So um, check them out. Without a doubt, check them out. There's a lot of great things happening right now. And uh, we've got a couple tournaments left before we start the champion season, which is in the fall. But we're gonna fish um, one more Crappie USA, I believe at Truman, and then the Crappie Masters event that is gonna be here at Rin Lake locally. And then of course the championships are Grenada and uh, Kentucky Lake, which are my two favorite lakes. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for joining me in the walkthrough of the of sickness. It's even got its own logo. I'll put it up here on the screen for you right here. And um, you'll be seeing that. So I love this boat. This boat's awesome. It's massive. It's a big boat. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.